Gainesville. Y'all see the movement, man. Up in Gainesville right now. Y'all see I'm getting low up, man. The low right now going South Carolina real quick. Y'all see what's going on, man. Y'all see the movement, man. Y'all see what time it is. Man, we working around him. Y'all see what time it is. Early morning getting it. Getting the chicken. I'm up early morning getting this motherfucking chicken, man. And this motherfucking chicken, man, finna get loaded up real quick. Y'all see my boy loading me up with, with the fault lift. Y'all see what time it is, man. We working around him. Non-stop, we working. We working. Y'all see the move, man. Y'all see what's going on, man. Three of those gonna be on now. Three of those gonna be on now, Jack. Three of those gonna be on now. Y'all see the movement, man. Got one more. Got one more to go. One more to go. Y'all see my boy loading me up, man. Y'all see what's going on, man. We working around him. We working around here non-stop, man. We working. We working, man. Ten toe down. Y'all see what's going on, man. Y'all see what's going on. Y'all see the movement, man. We working around here non-stop. Better believe that. Non-stop. Check my boy out. Loading me up real quick. Got one more. I got a tarp. I got to put that tarp on now. Got to put that tarp on now. Scrap it down. Shit, that's a day. It's a day's of work. Low right here, I'm going to South Carolina. You put a little closer? Yeah. Yeah, man, y'all see what time it is, man. Hey, y'all know the motherfucker been Hey, man, skeet it back, man. Hey, I just got done talking my load and shit, man. I'm going to show y'all what I got going on this morning, man. Y'all see what... Y'all see what's going on, man. They got doing top of this load, man. Y'all see what's going on. Y'all see the movement. They got done top of this shit. Hey, man, this load going to South Carolina. Hey. Just talk that little load real quick. I'm finna head on out. Finna hit this slab, Jack. Man, y'all see the movement, man. They got done working, man. Been working hard, man. Y'all see me swing. Swing bullets out here. Hey, man. I'm going to get back with y'all in a minute. Finna drop this load off. In South Carolina, they picked this load up in uh, Gainville. Y'all see the movement, man. Yeah, yeah, no, man. I can't end that last video like that, man. I got to end this video on this note, man. I want to uh, I wanna salute my boy Ski, man. I don't know if I said in the other video, like I always say, man, I never go back through my videos to look and listen on what I say on this channel. So whatever I told you I say, I, whatever, I mean, whatever I say, I'm, I'm most definitely, I'm just dropping it. So I, ain't, I haven't went back yet, but I just want to make this video just in case I didn't see it in the previous videos. I want to shout out my boy Skeet, man. I'm going to tell you what happened with the breakdown. Skeet came and got me here real. Gotta, gotta have a real one on your team. It wasn't no if and, no buts, no hold up, no nan. Bro got right on it. He got right on it. So, me and Skeet get too low going out at the same time um, that y'all could see in the beginning. Um, he had one going up to North Carolina to a spot I always go to. I had one going to um, Louisiana by Baton Rouge. Uh, and he, he, we were down there back. Heading back home at the same time, I think I dropped mines off about an hour before him. Of course, I was an hour behind. And uh, I'm on the way back. I hear something. And let me say this. Maintenance, y'all. Get your maintenance did on your truck. This is all. This, this, this was all on me. I'm going to take the hit for this. So um, we're going we gonna to jump back to the ski part. So uh, let me take this out of my ear because that ain't doing shit. Uh, my rear end. So y'all know I done had the truck. I'm on my third year, two and a half years, two years and some months, however. And and the Marine had a little small drip. And when I went and got my oil changed, uh, 
Ski oil chain man told him the same thing some months ago. Hey, check your rent, y'all. You know, you're doing this, you're hauling freight. So mine told me the same thing. Hey, man, you want to keep some, some dope in here. So I went to another mechanic because that oil chain man at the time, he said he don't have the equipment to, I guess, whatever the U joint thing to go back into the rent to to lock the, um, I don't know the name of it, my brain everywhere right now. But uh, yeah, so I went to my mechanic. He went up and down, took everything, got put me some more dope in it. Like he tightened the thing down. I didn't put a new one on now because he said it, it just felt loose up and down. So he like he tightened it down. So every time I did park my truck, I see a little drip here and now. I'm like, damn, it must be too much. I'm thinking to myself, not getting the shit checked back out, thinking shit gonna correct itself. Like, that's a crazy thought, huh? And um, and I stopped seeing the drip. You know what I'm saying? Like I never seen the drip no more for a minute. I just been riding, so nine times out of ten, it's that re end. It's no more dope in the re end. Uh, it looked like it, it looked like it was all on me. So do your maintenance on your truck, man. Motor, transmission, re end. It's the heart of your fucking truck when you out here hauling, man. Do your maintenance. And of course, I got I got a standard warrants on mine. So we're gonna let the standard warrants kick in. I've been two years on my standard warrants. I had a limited unlimited mile extended warranty um up for three years like i say i'm a little over two years so my warranty don't end to 2023 so i'm good on that touch base with them they told me to um how they operate they not they not gonna call i mean when you call they're not gonna you're not gonna get them on the line with a direct customer because i tried so when i went back in i had to put the numbers in like i'm the actual shop and i could get them on the line so this their process take your vehicle to a shop they want to deal directly with the shop i guess to cut out all the bullshit you know people like me want to try to capitalize and make extra money in between so they want to deal directly with the shop so at first i was like damn man it might be a scam i can't get these folks on the phone for shit but um yeah i'm headed to the gym now y'all y'all see what's going on headed to the gym srt today baby yeah uh so ski so I felt I heard some little clinking coming out the back of my truck while I'm on the way home. I'm dead heading back. I already dropped my load off that morning. So I'm like maybe five hours, four out five, I mean five to four hours from home, maybe four and a half. And so, and I'm thinking it's some the trailer with the ball, the tie back there, because I got a tie back there touching. I say when I get to the, I was like 20 minutes from this restaurant I wanted to go to in Alabama. And I heard some man, man, that motherfucker my truck started riding like it was in neutral. Boom, boom, that was neutral. So I'm like, oh shit, so I'm coasting down the hill. So I got to a stop and I put it and pawed back and dry. I ain't getting that but neutral. I say, man, my transmission then went out. So let me try four wheel drive and see. So I throw that motherfucking four wheel drive, let them two front wheel work. I say, man, I'm finna try to make it home. I probably made it by. 10 miles down the road, a whole lot of smoking. That motherfucker was smoking. Excuse my friend. God, I had something stop. So it was, it was a lot of smoking. So I pulled over, ran around, jumped under there. It was on fire. My rim, uh, like the back of the rim with a brake, the brake pad, and my tire, you can see my tire linked in. I'm talking about it was like real fire. I got my fire extinguisher. I ain't want to use it because it, it wasn't no big fire. So I throw a little water on it and put that out. But Long story short, man, I called Skeet. I say, Skeet, what about you at? I thought he was already. He said, man, I'm about an hour and 50 minutes from home. I said, I done broke down. He started panicking. I hear this boy, what? I'm like, yeah, my shit on fire. I'm talking to him the whole time. I'm pulling over. He like, got your fire stinger. You can hear he got it all in the frantic. Hey, man, that's a true one. That's a real one. He was real concerned. He said, well, yeah, I'm finna drop my trail off. And I'm finna come hook up to your trailer and we're gonna pull your truck up on there. I ain't have to use my winch neither because I put it in four wheel drive. The old two front tire pulled it up on the trailer. But yeah, Shouty came and got me, man. He came and got me. That's what I'm talking about. So so now my process is I got a shop I'm about to call in a minute. Um, <clears throat> I wanna know his turnaround time. So it's pretty much time sensitive because it. it that's my money maker. You know what I'm saying? You don't want your money maker down shops playing game uh, a month, two months, and they still ain't touched your shit yet. I'm gonna have a problem. 
You know what I'm saying? Y'all getting paid, so go on and get the shit fixed. If you can't take me, don't take my shit in. I, I try another shop. So, uh, yeah, I just want to salute my boy Skeet, man. He, he came and got me, man. That man drove. We got home. I was broke down the side of the road for eight hours. Not one state trooper pulled over to see was I right in eight hours. But I got home about 5.30 in the morning, man. Skeet drove me all the way home. We unloaded the truck. Um, pulled my trailer, unhooked from Skeet shit, and he, he rolled back home, man. So that's how I wanted to end this video. I don't know if this video going to go into uh, another video or what happened. I'm going to show you all the process of me getting my shit fixed and the shit that was wrong with my truck, getting everything fixed under my warranty and getting back on the road. So y'all going to see everything, man. I told y'all, we truck yes. trapping, man, to the wheel fall out, man. I said we gonna truck truck till we bun them tires up. But I ain't say I was gonna break no rim, man. Good God almighty, my whole shit leaning. But yeah, man, I wanna salute my boy Skeet, man. Y'all shout out to Skeet in the comment, man. Skeet is a real one, man. Anytime I need shout he there. No if and buts about it, man. So I just wanna give him a flower. I wanna show him he a real one. To let him know he a real one. He be watching these videos. He be seeing y'all coming too. He, he appreciate it, man. Y'all be hollering at him. You know, I know he get y'all to laugh, man. So he want y'all know what the fuck going on dot com, man. But yeah, so we're going to keep truck traffic, man. Everything the super set way, man. We're going to keep truck traffic till the wheel fall off, man. When them fall off, when the motor fall off, when the motor, I mean, when the transmission fall out and the motor blow up, boy, it's over. But shit, long as we keep getting shit fit, man, we're going to keep rocking and rolling, man. Let's get it. Next. <laughs> Yeah, y'all see what time it is, man. Just getting unloaded, just made it South Carolina real quick. Y'all, y'all see what's going on, man. We working around him. And y'all know what the fuck going on, man. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Skeet back on this motherfucking shit. Hey, ten toes down, man. Better believe it. Hey, man, I'm in grind mode, man. Straight up grind mode, man. Ten toes down, man. Y'all better believe this shit, man. Skeet it back. Skeet it back, Jack. Hey, you gonna load it real quick right here on South Carolina, man. Working right home, man. Let's see what's going on, man. Y'all see the move, man. Leave that shit. But finesse, but don't finesse that pedal out, though. I'll load me real quick. Keep working, man. Bull job. Man, work. Lad pedal out, man. Lad pedal out, man. Just got that back in a loader, man. Just got that back in a loader, man. Lad pedal out, man. Just keep done, man. Y'all see what time it is, man. We working around him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you caught me in that ain't cheap, man? You man. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, man. Yeah, man, my boy pull up, up and get me, man. You know how we do it. Y'all see what's going on, hey. man. Everything the super set way, man. You know, you know how we do it, man, Ryan Hill. Well, I tell y'all, man, y'all got to be y'all a solid ass squad, man. And y'all got to work together. The only way it gonna work. So y'all know Skeet J came and came to pick me up. I'm finna get this to the dealership, man. Then take it to Ford. Maybe about 20, 30 minutes away from here. Yeah, we about to hook my trail up, get the truck loaded up. We finna rock and roll, man. Y'all stay tuned for this next shit, man. Got my boy you to the camera work, man. He be ready for this thing to come out, man. <laughs> hey. right, let me get this thing unlocked, man. We're gonna show y'all when we get this thing loaded back up, man. Here we go, y'all. By now, y'all know what's going on, man. We got it up there locked and loaded. Head to the dealership, man. And again, I'm going to say this. Build your squad. Build your team. Ain't no iron team at all. It'd be shit like this, man. If I was wanting to be selfish and do this business by myself, man, I'd have been around here scrambling for some help. Who can do this and who can do that? But, yeah, I got skeet, man. Bless the hell, my boy, man. He going to come get me. But look at this, man. My baby doing the lean with it, rock with it. I don't like that. I don't like that, y'all. 
we finna get this shit right, man. New rear Got a couple other little things I'm gonna get did to it. So we headed to the dealership, man. Let me show y'all what the fuck going on. We get there, man. Let's get it. A few moments later. Here we go, y'all. Y'all see where we at, man. We at the Ford dealership. About to get that thing unloaded. Take it around to the back of the gate, man. We yeah, we, we did. Y'all see, y'all see these wheels. These wheels strapped up different from what y'all seen when we left the house. We had to pull over. I ain't like that rocking this truck heavy. So I had to do it the way we bring it back from Alabama, man. Felt most safer that way. So we finna get this thing unloaded, y'all. I'm gonna try to drive it over to that gate because y'all see these turns and shit too small for the trailer. So we gonna uh, try to drive it on over in the gate, hit the unlock. Boot bag in the back. Boy, you, wor you worse than me, boy. Boy, I don't trust shit. He <laughs> <I did, laughs> worse than me, boy. But we got a issue, man. We from the hood, man. Hey, Real right hood, right nigga. Hey. Real hood, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, we gonna get back with y'all. Let us get the unloaded. <laughs> get it in the gate. I'm gonna chop it up with these folk, man. Let them go get, get on the rundown on everything that's going on, man. I like the customer service already so far, man. We had five star for it, man. Y'all give me a minute, man. Yep. Hey man, y'all see we got that thing off and back though. We had to slow creep that motherfucker around the corner. But uh, eventually they came and helped me out. He said he was gonna park it for me. So we had uh, this is a five star Ford, man. Yes, uh, I wanna say one thing I wanna touch on. I wanna touch on, well, they already part. I wanna touch on um, businesses. Pretty much black business on them. So, uh, I initially had someone else, I think that's Nick, though. Yeah. I initially had someone else that was gonna actually do the work. I went through the whole process of contacting them, uh, letting them know what was going on, and, get, you know, giving everything, all my paperwork for them to get started. You start working your move. For them to get started on my car. So, I'm like, cool, I'm gonna contact you again and make sure that y'all ready for me to bring it up now. Some people told me they weren't gonna be able to touch my truck for a week and a half, two weeks. That's to even look at it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this is my business. I can't just have my shit set up. So I'm saying that to say, man, if you got a mechanic shop and you so swamped to where you can't touch a customer vehicle for even look at it for two weeks, hey man, you ain't handling business right. I don't care how good you are, how successful your business is, it's time to grow. It's time to grow. When you can't take people in, man, it's time to grow, man. Your shit ain't that big, man. I just pulled up here, man. That's why that's why these, these dealerships get so big. I know a lot of people don't like dealerships or whatnot because it's so pricey. But, man, hey, that man say he taking me in. He going to be there looked at it by the end of the day. If he don't call me by one tomorrow, call him. But they finna, they going to they gonna tear it down and look at it and, you know, and get to it or whatever. So I wanted to touch on that, man, and... I don't want to jump the gun and you know, I don't want to jump the gun and, and, and get these folk they uh get these folk they trophy already. But man, five star that boy uh Shaquan, he was good, great customer service, man. Great communication. Nick Thomas took it in. They're gonna tear it down, man. So you know we are gonna be good to go. Y'all get y'all in so. But then what I want to touch on, man, y'all see my boy Skeet got me, man. One thing about it, that bag going to be A1, man. You know what I'm saying? We don't do no charging. We give we give each other bonuses, man. That's what we do, man. When it's time to bust that bag down, just slide over a little extra, man. You know what I'm saying? For the bonus, man. For the appreciation, the love. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. The love and the loyalty, man. Yes, sir. So... Oh, uh, Skeet gonna be dropping more content, man. Skeet still rocking and rolling, man. Hammerhead shot down, man. <laughs> <laughs> Quick silver and roll runner still rocking and rolling. You put, you put, yo, you put it in your phone. So, uh, y'all gonna see more content of them. Y'all, y'all gonna see a little more of me talking about, you know, talking that talk. But it's gonna be less trucky. So, I hope it ain't gonna be no more than two weeks before my truck get back ready to run, back, back up and running. So that's what it is, man. Let me go get on home. I got a whole lot of shit I got to catch up on in a way I might have needed to break, man. I got some business to handle. 
So man, we still truck trapping, man. Shit ain't going nowhere. Well. What they better know? They know what the wet going on. What going on? They know what the fuck going yes, on. Yes, sir. They know what the fuck going on. <laughs> Hey man, we're we working around here. We're working, man. We truck truck, man. We're gonna truck truck to the wheel. Fall out when them fall out. We're gonna put some more back on, man. Y'all please like, come in, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. It's going motherfucking down. Let's get it. That's all, folks.